Hey guys, what's going on? Hope you're having a good weekend, especially a nice Sunday if you're a soccer fan. Hope you're enjoying the World Cup, catching some games, and um, you know, or actually a football fan, right? Outside North America, football all over South America, Europe. We don't call it uh, our uh, American football, right? But I hope you did enjoy some of the World Cup games, guys. I've been uh, doing a little crypto work today and enjoying some of the games. So I hope you guys are having some. Uh, fun relaxing time too on this weekend unless like a lot of our uh, followers and power crypto members say some of their fun is crypto right researching uh, reviewing talking crypto watching videos everything else that's kind of the fun for them so that's good if whatever you find fun hope you're getting some time to do it now in this video guys what we're going to talk about is some good news out of ripple how we have some news how we can be rest assured that ripple will not be deemed a security okay and that's going to have something to do with the deal they did with the u.s treasury a long time ago years ago dealing with xrp we're also going to talk in the video a little bit about SBI virtual currencies, how they've been added to Ripple's online XRP buying guide. And another good news out of that is Satoshi Citadel Industries will be a coming soon source of Ripple XRP. So some big moves in the market there, guys, getting Ripple out there globally, some more options to get it. And that's exciting news. And also, we're going to talk a little bit at the end of this video, throw in a project that we're excited about and just put it out there for you guys to check out, see if it's something that fits into your portfolio or something you're interested in after you research it. Because some people have been asking us, what are these next big projects where we can see 10 times, 100 times, 1,000x gains? Okay, so this is one we're going to throw out there at the end just to let you know, and then we're going to make a more in-depth video about it a little later. Okay, guys, so the first bit of news is that Ripple is trading at around 52 cents as we're talking right now during this video, making this video. And I don't know when we're going to see prices this low again, guys. So this is kind of exciting. It could be a good buying opportunity, right? The market, when are we going to see the market this low? If you've been in crypto, crypto for a long time over the years, you've been through the ups and the downs, this pullback is no different than we've experienced for the last five, six, seven, eight years, right? If you've been in crypto, so it's nothing to panic about. The only people panicking are the newbies who got in at the all-time highs and you know they're on the downtrend right now they have a big loss but they're only going to lose if they sell so they just have to wait it out and their new all-time highs will be better than ever as the new uh in, you know institutional money comes in the new investors the mainstream investors come in but in crypto guys you know we got to forget those people that have thought you know the craze at the end of 2017 we're all going to be rich in two weeks from crypto because of these stories about bitcoin right you got to be in it for the long term. If you're a good day trader, if you're following the market, you can make some short term gains as well. In this bear market, we've made a lot of money. And if you're dealing with our power crypto members, you can learn how to do that too. So guys, the big news today for XRP that people are talking about is there was a deal with the US Treasury that defines XRP as a currency and not a security. Because Ripple signed a settlement agreement years ago with the Treasury's financial, uh, financial Crimes Enforcement Network, FinCEN. So that was in 2015, guys, and he had to actually pay a $700,000 fine for selling its virtual currency, which was known as XRP, right, without registering with FinSEN first. And then by failing to implement and maintain an adequate uh, anti-money -la uh, laundering program that was designed to protect products from use by money launderers or terrorists or things like that, right? So it wasn't done right back in the day, but that's all been settled. They've signed deals. They've paid fines. And... Basically, they've modified their business practices to ensure future compliance. And there actually was a lot of debate recently about what's it going to be classified, how it will be classified. But this should put to rest some of the debate there because you can actually see from a statement of facts, right, that was right out of, right out of this news agreement and partnership was that the currency of Ripple Network, known as XRP, was pre-mined. In other words, unlike some other virtual currency, XRP was virtually generated prior to its distribution. So as of 2015, XRP is the second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization after Bitcoin. So it falls along a lot of lines that it won't be deemed a security, okay? So that's interesting news, guys. So hopefully that puts away some of the debate. You'll still have people debating about who can like override these jurisdictions jurisdictions and you know the government will step in and what departments are going to make different decisions but it's looking pretty good guys okay so it's not going to be a security we can uh, read into these um, you know news things that are coming out these news articles and some of the some of the good news that's coming out anyways hopefully it takes some pressure off some people that are really stressed out about this another thing is the SBI virtual currencies officially added ripples 
online XRP buying guide, okay? So it was added to the buying guide. So that's gonna be really exciting when ripples to cryptocurrency on there. That's gonna be a huge market in Japan, guys. And it's gonna bring so much mass adoption and globalization to Ripple XRP, especially that the in Japan market has a huge, huge crypto market, right? A lot of users in Japan. So that's exciting. And another thing is that they're also going to add Satoshi Citadel Industries, SCI, as a coming soon source of XRP. So that's based in the Philippines, guys. It's a startup fintech company, famous for building blockchain services and products for the sole purpose of financial inclusion in the Philippines. So they're establishing multiple products and services for the blockchain all over the country, and they're soon also going to be added as a coming source of XRP. So that is some more good news, guys. So there's been a little bit of good news today for XRP holders, um, you know, especially the securities debate. Hopefully, this puts a squash to some of that for everybody. You'll still see people in the comments and all over the place saying, no, this doesn't prove anything. But we're getting closer to hearing the final say of what we want to hear, guys, that it's not going to be a security. Now, the one thing I want to talk to you guys about is this other project that we're invested in. I'm just going to throw it out there for you guys. And I'm always thinking, should I get more of this? Because it's very cheap right now. And um, this is a project, guys, that isn't actually one of the currencies like we're seeing right now where everyone's speculating and hoping there'll be a possibility for, you know, there will be a product, there will be a service in the future if they can get their stuff together. This is a technology that's already out there in China being used by the government a lot of adoption, eventually going mass adoption into services, right, in terms of insurance, medical industries, and things like that. This could be mass adoption across China. And this is a technology that already has, you know, a service, a working product, okay? So, and it's already been adopted by the government in over, like, many, many, many cities in China with millions of population of people already using it. So, it should only grow, and it's very cheap right now, okay? So, that product is the key, okay? The Symbol, TKY. So check that out if you want, guys. I'm going to do another video more in depth about that. I'm not going to do it here in case it's something you're not interested in. You don't have to watch that. You came here for some Ripple news. But follow us in the next video. We're going to have that out in a little while. The key, good project. People are talking. It could be a 10x, 100x, 1,000x. Also a long-term hold, okay? Don't think you're going to get in and just make a pile of money right away. But this is something that could have mass adoption. And it's about identity, Okay. It's about identification. So you learn about that in the next video, but it's an exciting project, and I want to throw it out there for some of you guys who are always looking for the next big project. Okay, guys, so keep enjoying the World Cup games. Keep enjoying whatever it is you do to relax when you're outside of your crypto world, but that is some good news out of Ripple. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is this going to put a squash to the debate of if it's going to be a security or not XRP, or are we still going to see a lot of negativity in the comments and a lot of FUD all over the internet about R Ripple's terrible and blah, 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 blah. Okay, guys. See you in the next video. Oh, and I want to remind you guys, a little friendly reminder to all the crypto friends out there because we don't want anyone to be another statistic. Get yourself an offline hardware wallet, okay? Keep your crypto safe. You want to be able to sleep nice at night and rest assured that in the morning your crypto's there and it hasn't been stolen from a hacked exchange or an exchange that went down or your computer's been hacked. So the only way to keep it safe so you're sleeping good at night and your crypto is going to be there for years to come is an offline hardware wallet and you need to get them from the factory, the company. We have a link in the description below this video where you can get one directly from the factory, a Ledger Nano. Keep your crypto safe. You don't want to get it any other place than the company so it's never been touched or tampered with. Okay, guys. Please subscribe to the channel so we can stay in touch. You'll catch more news updates out of this and we can communicate with you more easily. And give the video a like if you did enjoy this video. I always appreciate that so much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.